Hey folks, welcome to my 2024 touring video, which I will be riding my mighty TW200, which I call the turd wagon. Here's a picture of it right here. Uh, this trip is going to entail finishing hitting up the tri-state markers of South Dakota, uh, of which there are seven. Uh, if you watched my last series from last year, uh, I hit uh, two of them. And I could not complete my trip because my clutch failed on my KTM 690, which was very sad, but it all worked out. So now this year I'm taking the turd wagon and I complete the rest of the tri-state markers. Now this first video, uh, unfortunately I lost a lot of the footage. I don't know how or why, but uh, the first part of it is uh, pretty boring. You're just going through Minnesota, a lot of straight roads, nothing big. So this video is going to be kind of short, but uh, there's a lot of adventure in this video series. It covers 10 days and uh, I'll have multiple, multiple videos uh, coming out uh, with all my fun stuff. And one of my good buddies, Ty Lloyd, he joins me. He was also uh, a major contributor to developing these routes through South Dakota. Uh, and it was just a great time. Now, I will say just real quick, you know, uh, I could have taken the KTM 690, but I really wanted to try and see how the TW200 would perform on a long tour. Now, uh, it is slow, it is low, and uh, but it'll get you there. I just wanted to see uh, how well it would perform, and honestly, it, it exceeded my expectations. Now, along the trail, I did have uh, a couple issues. I had some battery charging issues, uh, which I resolved, and we'll see that uh, in day three, I believe, uh, where I have to chase down some wires for a few hours. And uh, the only other issue was not really an issue, uh, it was maintenance issues, uh, which were my fault. I did not adjust the valves before I left, and I did not inspect my chain before I left. So I have to do a uh, uh, an on-trail valve adjustment and an on-trail chain uh, swap. And uh, I don't show that, but uh, it is done. So anyways, let's get on with the video, shall we? The first part here is uh, going from my home in Annandale, Minnesota, to the tri-state marker in White Rock, South Dakota, which was 210 miles. And then I make it to Hankinson, North Dakota to camp out. So here we go. Off we go. Uh, part way through the trip. So here I am, 80 miles into my trip. Uh, it rained for 77 of those miles. <laughs> pretty good. Uh, it's pretty uh, horrible. Couldn't see. Uh, road dirt all the way. It was some areas were muddy. It couldn't see the mud. Couldn't. Then I'd go in the center of the dirt road, and it was all mushy. And but we did it. We did it. Now I'm just taking a little break. Now that I've got out of the storm, still overcast here, but kind of out in the middle of nowhere, Minnesota, just south of <clears throat> Alexandria, Minnesota. So, uh, making my way to the Tri-State Marker. I was going to film uh, on the way up here, but it was just raining. It would have been a nothing burger. But we got it. The turd wagon performed flawlessly. No problems at all. Um, it's handling all that gear. I've got, I think, maybe 40 pounds of gear total, which isn't bad. It looks like a lot, but it's um, a lot of light stuff. I've got all my clothes in the front, which only weighs about maybe two pounds. It's not a lot of clothes. One sweatshirt, uh, two pair of underwear, one pair of socks, uh, some snacks, and a couple shirts. That's it. That is it, but this is the only filming I'm probably going to do until I get to the Tri-State Marker because there's just nothing to see in this area of Minnesota. So, right on. Yupper. Adios. Why don't I take this little road? Yeah, I guess. Okay, which way am I going? Going 
straight, I think. I guess so. I'll go over here. That stuff is nasty. Look at this. Yep. Yeah. That's a sure way to tuck your front end. Guaranteed tuck. Front tuck. Look at that farm. Isn't that pretty? Yipper. Off we go into the wild blue yonder, riding high into the sun. Ah, I ain't no singer. Well, hey folks, welcome to my 2024 summer trip. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel or don't know, haven't watched my videos or whatever, last year I was going to hit all the tri-state markers of South Dakota, of which there are seven um, on the far west, southwest side of uh, South Dakota and into Nebraska. My clutch failed me on my KTM 690, so I had to come home. Well, this year uh, I'm going to do it on my TW 200, um, and I'm going, I'm just doing the northern section, northern and far western section of South Dakota. So I hope it turns out right. I hope, hope uh, my video turns out okay. I'm using a new camera so my my video quality should be greatly uh, enhanced. I'm using a DJI Action 4 and uh, I'm also using my old drift camera as a rear cam. You can see that. So that should be pretty cool, and uh, we'll just keep her going. I'm in. Uh, I'm approaching uh, the first tri-state marker today. I've got 61 miles to go to get to it. And that would be the tri-state marker of South Dakota, North Dakota, and Minnesota. Oh, more gravity gravel. Somebody they laid down fresh gravel, so I should be able to make that today. Um, my day has been very, very slow. I went through this massive storm, I'll show you a picture of that. Went all the way through it, it sucked. <laughs> that was uh, 77 miles of rain, it took me about two hours. No, it took me more like three hours to get through that. Um, not fun, not fun at all. I got wet and cold. Inside of my helmet's all wet. I couldn't see. The gravel's all mushy. <laughs> so, oh, well, by the way, this is a primarily all dirt route. So, anyways, uh, let's see how the rest of this day goes. All right. All righty. See you in a bit. This gravel is mushy. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> I'm in uh, White Rock, South Dakota, and this used to be a booming little town. Uh, I'm going to be approaching the tri-state marker now. <clears throat> this is on a minimum maintenance road. Uh, not sure how bad it's going to be. It's just been drenching, 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 raining all the time, so... Uh, let's see how it goes. Might have to go pretty slow, but we'll see. Travel at your own risk. 20 miles an hour. It's about a mile down, I think. About a mile down and a mile east. All them big boulders, man. Big rocks. It's pretty mushy. I'm just going to go nice and easy. I don't want to get stuck out here and go down. Yeah, it's real mushy. Let's see if I can't get over here. Oh, whoa. Just go nice and slow.
tell even the trucks were having trouble. Dang. It ain't too bad, but... It's tossing me around a bit. What would it be like just to go through one of these puddles? What would that be like? I am on a T-dub, so who cares? I can't get stuck. Or can I? No problem. First gear. Look at my rear view mirrors, make sure nobody's coming after me. This stuff's pretty mushy. I wonder if they ever grade this road or anything. I don't know. Oh, where is it? There's a right-hand turn up here. Right now we're going straight north. So far today I have gone 179 miles, it's going to be 180 in 6 hours and 31 minutes. <laughs> that was due to rain and you just can't see going slow. Gravel roads. Dub just putzing through. Is this it here? No, this ain't it. I gotta go down a little bit more. And this will be the North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota border tri state marker. Dang. Nobody's following me, so that's good. It's weird, it's kind of like, uh, I've been here once before. Uh, it's kind of like on a, oh, what do you call that? Uh, ir it's like an irrigation, not irrigation, is that what it's called? It's like a big ditch that carries water, basically. go around this sucker. Actually, I'm going to take it easy because this might be a bad mud hole. I don't know. I don't want it bad. Oh, it's just re really loose and sloppy. If I was a good rider, I could just blast right on through it, but I'm not a good rider, so I'm not blasting through it. <coughs> Got a bug in my eye, dang it. Jeez. I think this is it, right up here. This isn't even a road that we're going to turn on. It's more like just a track. Just access to the tri-state markers. That's all. Yeah, see, that's like an irrigation ditch. Yep, it's right down here. Okay. Don't got far to go. Half mile, maybe. People have been down here. Oh, that sun on my back feels so good. I have been cold for, oh man, like five hours I've been cold. 
once I got ooh, a little bit of water, a little bit of rain slowly in my shirt, all the way down to my belly. I should just ride right in the middle. Nah. People have been back here. People for sure have been back here. Oh shit. Kind of like a little bit nervous, I guess, because I'm so tired and cold. Of course, that sun would just stay on my back. That would be cool. <sighs> I don't feel like breaking my leg all the way out here either. Almost there. To a gopher. It's right up here. There it is. There is the North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota Tri-State Marker. I think actually I am in North Dakota right now. Yep. I am in North Dakota. best place to take a picture. Maybe over here. Okay, I'm gonna get my gloves off and we'll check it out. Take some pictures. The turd wagon performed a flawless today. Oh, excuse me. Kind of surprised because it was in such rough shape when I got it. <clears throat> Here's the turd wagon, it's pretty dirty. Okay, there's a bug on me. North Dakota. I M M T. What does that say? I don't know what that means. This would be 1891. Bugs. <laughs> what do I say over here? That says South Dakota. This should be Mon Minnesota over here. Pretty sure. I wonder what that means. I N M T. International Point. 
Find C. I don't know, but anyways, I'm out in the middle of nowhere in a cornfield. Beautiful out here. <sighs> nice to feel the sun. Nice. So, anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. Um, I'm gonna make my way to Hankinson, North Dakota, which is I don't know how far is Hankinson. Let's see. <sighs> H A N K I N. Nineteen miles. Then I'm gonna uh, fuel up there, grab some adult beverages, and uh, find a place to camp. I'm gonna be stealth camping tonight, I think. <laughs> it's been so wet. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope the video turns out better, the quality, anyways, than from last year with my DJI. Uh, camera so we'll see you next time which should be hopefully tomorrow all right adios